When you record your screen with Camtasia Recorder, it also captures your cursor data separately in the Camtasia recording file. This means you can edit the cursor, like the scale, how it looks, and even how it moves across the screen in Camtasia Editor. You might be wondering, what's the big deal about the cursor anyway? Well, the cursor can help tell your story, guide your viewer's eyes to the important information, and even help keep them engaged. Let me show you five quick example edits that you can do with the cursor in Camtasia Editor. Number one, if the cursor is too small and difficult to see and follow, increase the scale or size to make it pop. Number two, simplify the look of your cursor by changing it to a single cursor type. The cursor can change throughout a recording as you move it across various elements on the screen such as a text field or over a button. Reduce distractions by changing the cursor to a single cursor type throughout your video. Number three, use a cursor effect to change the cursor color or give it a highlight. One of my favorites is applying a cursor glow, which is a subtle way to help viewers follow along. Number four, Apply a left click cursor effect called scaling to show viewers when you click your mouse. This simple visual is a quick and easy way to make sure your viewers know the difference when you are just pointing the cursor or clicking. And number five, take full control of how your cursor looks in your video by editing the cursor path. Oftentimes, we don't realize we are talking with our mouse or may unintentionally move the cursor around on the screen. Edit the cursor path to clean up the distractions of how your cursor looks in your video and make it easier for your viewers to follow along. There is a lot of customization and control that you have over how the cursor looks in your Camtasia videos. To learn step-by-step -step how each of these tools work, check out our other tutorials.